So this might actually be telling me something because um, I can see like dark oil spots inside the manifold. Since I don't have a borescope, I'm probably gonna have to remove the manifold and check where I see the wetness. All right, it's getting kind of late and I'm getting kind of sick of working on this car, but I think there's promise to taking this exhaust manifold off. So I'm just gonna power through and do it because I can see which cylinders oil is going through. And then also when I have that manifold off, I can stick my camera from behind and see if I can see oil dripping down any of the exhaust valves. So I think it'll be beneficial. First of all, people are setting fireworks off. So sorry about that. Well, the stud came off with a nut on that first one. So hopefully that doesn't happen on the other four because it's kind of annoying when that happens. Well, figures, four out of the five nuts brought the studs out with them. Um, yeah, these fireworks are pretty nice actually. Man, that clamp doesn't want to let go. Sometimes <clears throat> I love the band clamps. Other times I absolutely hate them. This one will not come off despite me having the nut off and it's really, really frustrating. As much as I bang on it, pull, twist, doesn't matter, that thing's not budging. Hopefully I get it off in like the next 20 minutes or else I'm completely out of patience and I'll just be done for the night. I had to uh, loosen up the downpipe V-band so that when I lift up on the manifold, it can then rotate the, um, kind of like rotate the, uh, the turbo up. It can spin the rotate. It can, oh my God, I can't think. It can rotate the turbo relative to the downpipe, which will then help me get the uh, manifold off the turbo. So, looks like it's coming off now, actually. Of course, it still doesn't want to come completely off. It's loose and it's spinning, yet it doesn't want to come completely off. This clamp is like a nightmare. I don't know why the hell it's so stuck. The exhaust comes out of each, the gases come out of each cylinder into this, and they collect and they go into the turbo through that guy down there. So, can you grab my flashlight? My phone. That's brazy goose. Can you grab the um, flashlight? So there's a shit ton of oil in the second cylinder, right? The third cylinder looks dry. The second one has a fuck ton of oil. It's all wet inside. It's soaked inside. So hopefully I didn't damage my turbo. I don't think it fell too hard. Um, actually, if you kind of lift it up, um, it isn't really hitting anything. It's like, because it fell. I mean, I just kind of got mad and just kind of yanked on that exhaust manifold until it all came out. And I heard a bunch of metal clanking noises, but I think it was mostly the wastegate, the dump tube. Dump tube hit the subframe down there, I think. The, uh, the downpipe's pretty much supporting the, uh, Exhaust. I mean the exhaust. I mean the downpipe supporting the turbo for the most part But the turbo is still kind of resting on the transfer case looks like it looks like the heat shield The uh, turbo shield turbo blanket man. I can't think straight. It's been a long day working on this train wreck Plus it only fell from like here to like there the Turbo is definitely fine looks like Cylinder one is like clearly normal. Look at that. Clearly normal. Sorry, you guys. I should probably just get my flashlight. All right, here we go. Cylinder one, normal. Look, it's just, there's some carbon everywhere, but all around looks dry. Cylinder two is soaked. It's absolutely soaked. Cylinder one, cylinder two. Drenched in oil, all out the like the back side of the uh, the manifold. So one kind of has like this black mark around the edge, like on the uh, the face of the manifold itself. Two has a lot. Three kind of has some, but it kind of looks like one. Three looks pretty dry, but there's definitely some oil on the side right there but it doesn't actually go into the manifold any further. So that may be from like the oil leak coming from above. 
the manifold? Not really sure. Four looks dry, just like number one. The question is, is something weird going on with cylinder number two? Or is it just coming up through the turbo? Because cylinder two is closest to the turbo. Well, three is close to. I think we would have seen it come into three. Yeah, you only see it. You only see it in two. You don't see it in three. So if the exhaust gases are flowing really fast, blowing out two, it's gonna hit that back wall. So it's gonna hit that wall right there on that side. It's just gonna blow right out and hit that those back walls. Is that gonna? It's probably not gonna hold. Okay. You good? You good. The turbo is probably looking pretty nasty in there. As expected. It's looking pretty gross in there. Lots of oil. Poor turbo. So it's time to flip the camera around, try to get a view inside the cylinders, or you know, inside the exhaust ports. If we see some oil dripping down the valves, then we know it's the valve seals. The only problem is I can only see the exhaust valves. So I could be leaking through my intake valves. Yeah, my intake uh, valve seals, I wouldn't really be able to know. So I can't see the camera right now, so I have to use the screen and also reach this flashlight at the same time. This is pretty difficult to do. Three looks wet. Okay, this is completely throwing me off now. Three looks wet, doesn't it? So it's clearly coming out that one valve. All right, I give up. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do the rest of my phone because my phone, my phone would be much clearer. And then I'll just show you guys what I see on my phone. All right, so I'm taking this video on my phone because it focuses pretty damn well up close and it has the camera, sorry, the flash right on it, which really helps. Here, let's try to get in there. Here's cylinder number one. As you can see, there's carbon, but it's dry everywhere. Now, like I was showing you on the exhaust manifold, number two was soaked in oil. So here's what number two looks like. It's soaked in oil. As you can see, it really just looks like it's that valve seal on the on the left on the screen. The one on the right does have a little mark, like it's maybe dripping. I'm not sure actually. It really looks like it's that valve seal on the left that failed. The one on the right may have failed, but it doesn't look bad over there. I mean, either way, I'm replacing all of them. I'm replacing all of them on the intake side and the exhaust side. Here is number three. Here we got, looks like, looks like the one on the right did fail because it's blown a lot of oil out. If you see at the top of the valve, there's also that shiny part. I don't know what that's about. Here's number four. They are both clean, both perfectly clean. I just spent probably like 20 minutes just message messaging my close buddies about me figuring out what the problem was. If the valves are sealing correctly, I would think that the valve guides are good. I don't know, I could, I could be wrong. So I'm trying to get confirmation on that before I spend, you know, an entire weekend doing this job. It's probably gonna take me an entire weekend because I've never taken all the valve seals out, sorry, the, um, the valve springs out and then the valve seals. I've taken a couple of valve springs out of my old head, which is actually sitting over there, but it was really difficult because I don't have a proper tool for it. So uh, tomorrow I'm actually leaving for a work trip. So I will order everything I need parts wise, and I'll also order a uh, valve spring remover. So it's pretty late right now, it's about 11.30, but I don't really want to leave my turbo just like, hanging like that on the downpipe. I am going to clean out the exhaust manifold a little bit. Probably just slap it back on. Basically just on there good enough so that the turbo isn't just hanging like that. 
not really much else to see here. I am very, what the hell is that noise? Yeah, so there's not really much else to see. I am like, I'm actually stoked that I found what the problem is. I'm like really, really happy. It's, that's a huge weight off my shoulders. I'll, I'm just happy that I'll be able to actually fix this thing and be able to drive it very soon. I put a lot of work into it already, as you guys know, and a shit ton of money and time. So I'm also gonna have to uh, see if I can fix the oil leaks at the same time. Fucking skunk is back. It doesn't like my tactical light. That's also out of batteries. <laughs> there he is. If this flashlight worked, you'd be able to see him. Well, hopefully he just leaves me alone. I just don't want that thing to spray me. And I have to warn my girlfriend because she's going to bring me pizza in a couple minutes. And I do not want her to get sprayed either. Yo, this video has just gone off the rails. If you guys are still watching this, just leave now. Nothing, nothing car related is really going to happen for the rest of this video. Walt figures he disappears in the closest area to my car. Yeah, I'm not going to record anymore. I'm going to get get that manifold bolted onto the head, at least loosely. And then just call it a night, because it's, uh, it's like past midnight right now. Thank you for watching. Uh, next video, you should see me taking the cams back out and getting those valve springs and cam seals replaced. Well, getting the valve springs out and the cam seals replaced. I cannot wait to drive this car without significant issues and I know you guys are ready to see some good driving content and me getting this thing finally like on a final tune with some ethanol or some uh, water meth. So yeah, thank you for watching guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.